uh, hello everyone um, today we are going to do the numerical number 4 on quantum mechanics uh, the numerical is uh, about finding out the kinetic energy of an electron so we have to find out the kinetic energy so I know that E kinetic energy can be given as T square by 2m so this is our first clue and we have an electron so we know that mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and if you want to write charge of electron you know that it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay and we are going to work on d broglie wavelength and it is given that the electrons de Broglie wavelength is equal to that of a 10 keV kilo electron volt photon so 10 keV so photon is 10 keV so what is this photon so you have to look at the unit so this is the unit of energy so it is given as the energy of photon is 10 kilo electron volt so 10 kilo electron volt uh, energy of photon is given as 10 into 10 raised to power 3 electron volt ok and the third fact is given as the de Broglie wavelength of photon is equal to de Broglie wavelength of electron and we have to find out the kinetic energy of electron so there we have to write mass of electron here we have to write momentum of electron so momentum of electron how can we find it so we can apply the de Broglie wavelength formula so we know that momentum of electron is given as ratio of h and wavelength of electron so eventually we because we know this mass of electron and it is given here so only thing we have to find out is lambda e and it is given that lambda of electron is equal to lambda of photon so actually this formula will become h upon lambda of photon in this case because lambda of photon is given as equals to lambda of electron so how to so eventually everything comes out to be how to find out the lambda of photon now la lambda of photon is related to energy of photon right so you everyone knows that energy of photon is given as h into frequency or h into mu right so i can either write f or mu and we also know that f into lambda for any wave is equal to its velocity and for light photon velocity is equal to c that is c into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second so it means uh, f can be replaced by c by lambda therefore this energy of photon uh, this energy of photon can be written as h into c by lambda so this is lambda of photon so it means that uh, we can replace lambda of photon by h into c by energy of photon okay so now we can go back from here we can put it here this will replace this and this P will replace this and then we will find out the energy of electron so this is the way that we have to proceed one thing that we have to keep in mind that this lambda is in meters this h is in joule second this c is in meter per second so this energy has to be in joule so that joule and joule get cancelled second and second get cancelled and meter on this side will be equal to meter on this side okay so you have to actually change this energy of photon into joules so 
we have to replace this energy of photon in electron volt to energy in joules and how we are going to do this so it is 10 into 10 raised to power 3 in electron volt and if you multiply it by 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 joules per electron volt so electron volt electron volt get cancelled and this is the value of energy that we were looking for so energy of photon in joules will come out will come out to be uh, this is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus so this is 3 plus 1 4 and minus 19 is minus 15 joules so this is the energy of photon in joules now we can put it uh, back into this formula of lambda photon so um, lambda of photon which is equals to lambda of electron should be equals to hc by e e e 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 15 joules okay so eventually energy of electron can be written as from here t can be replaced by h by lambda photon so and that is in square okay so denominator is simple it is electron this p e square p is replaced by uh, h upon lambda of electron and lambda of electron that is equal to lambda of photon in this case is come up has come out to be this so you can do it like this energy of electron is h upon what should be lambda is hc hc by 1.6 into 10 to power minus 15 square by twice of any so can we cancel it out okay so it becomes energy of electron will be uh, this 1.6 will come on the up minus 15 by 3 into 10 to power 8 by 2 into 9.1 into 10 raised to power minus 31 so energy of electron will come out to be uh, Okay, this is 1.6 into 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 30 or uh, what you can do is mm, okay uh, 30 by 3 into 3 9 into 10 raised to power 16 into 2 into 9.1 I am writing it 9 into 10 raised to power minus 31 ok so this energy of electron I am going to write it here so this energy of electron is 1.6 into 1.6 2.56 into 10 raised to power minus 30 by 9 9 81 81 2 ja 162 ok uh, 162 I will write it at 160 into 10 raised to power 16 and minus 31 is minus 15 ok so I am going to write it here sorry for that so energy of electron is going to be 16 and 2 0.56 so if I remove this decimal I will go to minus 32 16 and this will become 16 and 110 is here so this will become 14 okay so it is coming out to be 16 into 10 raised to power minus 32 plus 14 so it will be 16 into 10 raised to power minus 32 plus 14 is minus 18 so 
so it is about 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 17 joules okay so this is the answer and you can convert it into electron volt so what you can do is uh, you can do 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 17 joules and you can divide it by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule per electron volt and it will be 1.6 1.6 get cancelled so it is about order of 10 raised to power 2 so it is about 100 electron volt i think i have on to my own video uh, but it's okay so this question was looking like a very simple one but as you can see uh, it is quite a, a long question and you have to do many things to arrive at this so the quantum mechanics questions are going to be like this they may be in just one statement but uh, they can be quite long okay thank you